Hi, good evening. Uh, my name is Miss Jerome. I am the head of art. I've got a, a very, very strong French accent, but hopefully um, you'll get accustomed to my strong accent and you will be uh, welcome to improve my English like I will actually improve your, your art. Um, you are applying uh, for a course which is A-level in art, craft and design, and we use the Edexcel exam board as well. I am also an A-level um, examiner and you will be for Edexcel and you will also be taught by another art teacher in the art department. Now the art department is a small department, it's made of two part-time art teachers and a full-time technician. Um, I just want to reassure you, you're going to get two A-level art teachers and the reason why is because we really want you to get the best expertise at a very high level. So you'll find out that the teachers are going to collaborate together and um, differentiate what they're teaching, particularly, for instance, when you start in year 12, you're going to experience a fantastic project called Art School, where you're going to do lots of different workshops. So you may have a teacher who will teach you A-level oil painting because that's their strength compared to another teacher who um, strength might lay in ceramics or mixed media or printmaking. Um, in this PowerPoint, I'm going to share some very useful information, particularly for those who want to work for the creative industry or not. And I will finish the uh, presentation with an old um, A-level art student who is studying architecture in Cambridge and who experienced four A-levels, at a four subjects, sorry, at A-level, and how she managed to cope with it. And she's part of two students who were selected the same year to study um, at Cambridge A-level architecture. So enjoy, and I look forward to see you at the end of the presentation tonight. Uh, for some question and answer. Have a lovely evening all. So some of you are thinking of doing um, A-level art because um, you really need to do it because you want to work for the creative industry. So we've got students in the previous uh, years who've been studying a really wide range of courses from graphic design, architecture at the Bartley School of Architecture in Cambridge. Currently, we've got three art students there in their first and third year. And we've got two students previously who've been studying digital media arts, who um, now one of them is specialized uh, in filming. We've got students who've done animation. And Husna, who is in a final year at the moment, I think, who's studying fine art and history of art. So as you can see, we've got a really breadth of, of courses we've managed to get students to get in. And uh, we've got students as well who are considering uh, doing A-level art because um, it's a good combination with the other subjects. So we've got previously a lover of geography who was really interesting to make art with lots of natural materials. And we've got uh, Anjana who is currently studying uh, sociology and anthropology because um, they work really, really well. Um, together. Some of you, you really want to do art because you love it or because you want to develop your dexterity and I promise you studying art at A-level is much more relaxing as GCSE. Um, the gap between GCSE and art A-level is not that big and because you're only studying three or four subjects, you'll find that you'll have plenty more time to get your time to studying compared to GCSE. So I, I can promise you from experience, it's much easier at A-level than it is at GCSE when you, you are doing it with lots of other subjects as well. Um, so these are the students I was telling you about early on um, who've gone um, on the different courses. So as you can see from that slide, we haven't got much specialism in the school. We really respect you as an individual and we will do our best so that you really um, specialise in your practice where you feel the most confident as well. So we've got students, as you can see, Javeria, who had a very mathematical mind, a very scientific approach to her artwork. She ended up doing this beautiful paper installation on the, on the cameo silhouette. It was quite architectural and very mathematical at the same time. Whereas we've got some students whose love for psychology is actually reflected in their artwork and people who's got an amazing understanding of space who will show this in their artwork and no wonder why they're studying uh, architecture now. Um, so just to let you know that we offer A-level art and design 
uh, not fine arts, sorry, I apologize about this slide, uh, with the edXL uh, board. And 60% of your assessment will be based on your coursework and only 40% with your exam. Um, we try to do something really fun when you arrive in September. We, we actually do art school. Um, from September to Christmas, you're going to be experiencing a wide range of workshops and uh, lots of different approaches to drawings, which is a big emphasis on this. So do not worry if you haven't done much drawing when you were in your previous school or at GCSE at Woodford County. We will push you on this um, before we start doing some workshops in printmaking, clay, mixed media, oil painting. And also we try to launch um, your theme in September. Uh, by going to the city when we, we do an amazing trip along the river. We go on the Emirates cable and we take the, um, the boat as well. But sadly, because of COVID, this year we've managed to do a trip, but it will only be local. But still, we will take you out. Um, and after Christmas, when you finish your workshop, we are going to do a mini project where you're going to choose your area of specialism. So you may go into clay because you've really, really enjoyed it, or you may want to go in another area because you've enjoyed it, but you feel you haven't explored it enough. So it's, it's a really good three months where you can take risk and not necessarily play safe by, by going in something where you may be more accustomed to. And after March, we will give you a brand new sketchbook and then we will uh, start your coursework. So your coursework is going to probably last between the end of March until uh, January the year afterwards. And you're going to specialize in your area. So we are going to tailor some lessons so that you set yourself a target, uh, not a target, but like a, a title or a sentences that you're going to resolve. So you won't be given a title to do for your coursework. Um, by February, you would have ended your coursework the year afterwards, and then we will give you your exam paper, which probably will happen in your last year between February and, and May. I just want to let you know the big difference between GCSE and A level is that your final piece will be um, made in exam condition over three days because um, it's 15 hours instead of 10 hours like at GCSE. I'm just showing you a wide range of outcomes from previous students. Um, whose specialisms have been in photography, um, in oil painting and photography. Uh, some students who have done screen printing where the work is much more graphic. Printmaking, you can see some example of monotypes as well as a lino cuts on this slide. Um, some textiles, so we've got some transfers of images with a combination of oil paint and, and sewing and mixed media as well over the textile. So we try to really respect you as an individual and I just want to stress on this. Uh, I am an A-level examiner and Mr. Apple is a GCSE examiner and, and we go around some centres and sometimes you can see um, a clear trend uh, within the centre but you you will benefit from our expertise when we teach you at A-level and we will encourage you to, to go in an avenue where you feel comfortable and, you, and which is you. And this is just an example of an exam uh, board uh, just before the examiner came um, of a student who specialised during her exam in, in ceramics and oil painting and who was doing uh, lots of work on Syria and conflict. And her final piece is actually um, about what happens after the, the, the turmoil of the war. So you can see that she's made an old painting which incorporates in Photoshop some of the ceramic derelict building that she's created after being bombed and she's incorporated it in, in a beautiful new painting of a, of a building which has been revamped. So I think she was working on hope as well. And, and of course, there is more to your course. So, so I just want to let you know that we will launch the year 12, uh, like I said, with a, a local trip in London. And we try to do some other trips on a yearly basis. But sadly, with COVID, as you know, things have had to be cancelled. But previously, we've been twice to Berlin. We've done a trip to Seven Sisters, St. Ives. And last year with Miss Apobi, we were working on going to Holland, but we are thinking uh, with next year going to um, um, Venice because of the Biennale of Venice, which happens every two years. And we would do a lot, a lot of tutorials with you in between lessons, and we will help you as well to make your portfolio for free when you apply to our school. Uh, we do live drawing every year and we're about to organize it, which is a bit tricky at the moment. 
Uh, we used to do it with the Royal Academy, but they've stopped doing it, but we've kept in touch with the models and the teachers from the Royal Academy. So this is something that we will carry on, which the students are very, very keen. We've got, uh, we've got uh, te sorry, artist teachers who come and visit us to do some workshops as well. So we've done some GCSE and A-level workshop with Janet Barnes on top of the Sky Garden previously as well. Uh, and what else? Uh, you will get two teachers on your A-level, so you will benefit from two expertise, which I think is really important. Very much like when you will start doing your degree, you won't have just one tutor who will be teaching you. And we finish the course uh, with a big summer showcase, which is cu curated every year by year 12. And this is very good for when you apply to your university courses, when you do your, your CAS application. There's a lot of things that you do extracurricular, which is really important. We ask students to mentor GCSE art students, which is another thing that you can put on the UCAS application as well. Okay, so like I said previously, we will help you building up um, a lot of expertise with different workshops, an individual pathway which will lead you towards an outcome at the end of your coursework, uh, lots of tutorials because the art groups are very small. That, that's the beauty about this school. So last year we had six our students and this year we've got 12 in year 13 and 11 in year 12 and it allows us to give you plenty, plenty tutorial of very good quality, not just over five minutes. The librarians will email you regularly some uh, articles as well. Um, we send you to the UCAS Art Fair, which I'll tell you all about it in a minute. Um, and there is some space as well outside the art room. So you will have your lessons in a, some very, very um, big spacious art rooms actually, which are actually based on the old swimming pool. And next to the two art studios where you will be having your lesson, there is a space dedicated to the six formers with some um, computers and space for you to display your work as well as working during your freeze. So that's really important. We open the art rooms regularly at lunchtime, except recently with COVID, we, we only can have one lunch session with year 13 and year 12 at the moment on different days because of the bubble, as you know. You will get lots of support from the technician as well for demonstrating you how to stretch canvas, for instance, on a frame. And like I said, we'll, you will be working with some artists and hopefully you will get a trip as well. And I just wanted to share with you a beautiful statement that uh, Maya said many years ago, uh, who is now studying architecture in Cambridge in, a, in her third year. Um, she said something really interesting to a, a parent, and I was next to her when she said it, and she said, the best thing I've learned from my GCSE is the perseverance and the resilience over my artwork, which I was able to apply those skills when I was doing my other A level. So I just want to let you know, if you've studied uh, GCSE art, this is going to put you in a really, really good um, position when you're going to do your A levels in other subjects. And I just want to let you know that we do have students who don't do A-level art and we take them on a, on a trial period, usually over October. And so far it's worked really well. We, we've, we've never asked to, to ask students to stop the course because they were not coping with it. So for instance, if you've done product design in another school and, and you would like to do A-level art with us, um, you should be able to do it if you uh, got the grades for uh, the entry requirements, of course. That was Maya, by the way, the beautiful final piece that she did on glass. It was a lovely little installation. Um, so in the next few slides, you may want to, to take more time looking at this at home when you go over the, the video, is just to look at the creative industry because um, you may be aware that um, in London, after the NHS, uh, the creative industry is the second biggest employment. And there's a real need um, for creativity and for people to take risks and mistakes. And um, all these skills that you really develop in the art lesson, Ken Robinson uh, talks about it um, on his talk, on, on TED um, talk. Ken Robinson is, is a wonderful uh, speaker who, as you can see on that slide, he's, he's been um, part, part of the um, UNESCO, he's worked for the Royal Ballet as well. But have a look at his talk on, on TED. Sadly, he, he died a few, um, few weeks ago. Um, he's a really, really great speaker about the need 
and of having a creative mind for adapting to the way we're working nowadays in the, in the industry and not necessarily the creative industry. He's, he's a very entertaining gentleman, but I'm not going to play the film for you now. I'll let you do so um, in your spare time. Uh, this is really interesting. This is the horrible building we work in. We're actually on top of the swimming pool, the Freud swimming pool. And I just want to let you know that we've revamped the outside of the building. And it'll be really interesting when you come, how we could revamp even this further, what you would like to do as an installation outside the art block. I promise you it looks much more cheerful than this now. <laughs> so um, in the next few slides, I'm going to talk to you as well about the key things that the employers are looking for uh, when you go to a university and outside university, when you will start working for, of course, the industry. So if you want to take your time, by looking at this and I just wanted to stress on, on, on something else about the creative industry that um, it's not just fine art and your fine art is not just about architecture. I met some parents in Parents Evening the other day who have done a, a degree in photography and they, and they were saying that the need for the advertising and the marketing industry for it to have much more women uh, working in this industry. Apparently there's too many men and it, it doesn't make a good balance as well. We've got students who, who are now working for the, the film industry as freelancers as well and um, and the publishing as well recruits lots of creative minds as well and the architecture galleries curators uh, and so on so these slides will tell you um, more jobs that can, are part of the creative industry and i just want to stress on the fact that your a-level fine art will really open you the doors to do what you want afterwards. Like I said to you, we've got students who've done a little bit of animation and filming in, on our course who've managed to, to get on uh, to do degree in animation as well while they were part of the art and design course. Sorry, not fine art, art and design course. And I'd like to um, finish this talk very, very shortly, but I would like to let you know wonderful news. This huge, huge space is called the conference room that you will probably will have some uh, assemblies inside this space. And this is going to be your space in a couple of years time and um, where you will have to curate the GCSE and the A-level summer showcase. This is a fab event that we organize every year with the food department, the music department, and we invite the governors and the parents to come and celebrate the end of the year. And this is really, really good skills for you to learn to curate an exhibition as well and to work as a team and to develop all the skills involved in this as well. So we will see what will happen when it's your turn in July 2022. Uh, so I just wanted to share with you the, the very good results that we get at A-level in our school as well. Uh, I would like to draw, um, flag a few things for you at the moment and hopefully when you will be here with us next year, uh, COVID will be all over and hopefully we will have a vaccinations found. But uh, keep an eye for the Create Your Future, which is a fair organized by UCAS and it's all the jobs to do with the creative industry and the universities represented and this usually happens in the autumn term in London and I know they do it in big cities like Manchester up north as well. Keep an eye on this wonderful website of the University of the Arts of London UAL which will uh, advertise all the open days that they are doing at the moment online sadly and it's around November um, and December but keep an eye on in November this year or next year and hopefully you'll be able to visit the university by then. Check the website of the Bartlett School of Architecture. We've had students who, who got in uh, previously as well as Cambridge, which are probably the top uh, university to study architecture. And if you want to develop um, skill outside the art rooms as well, just to let you know, check an eye on those key galleries like the National Gallery, the Royal Academy, the White Chapel, and the Welcome Collection, they do lots of um, workshops with the youth um, over weeks. And this is very good for developing yourself a portfolio uh, and as a curator as well. And um, so finally, I just wanted to show you some beautiful uh, comments that previous students have shared. So I'm not going to read them to you, but this is Jabba who's left the Bartlett School of Architecture two years ago. Um, this is Rachel who is now uh, work for the VNA as a textile. Uh, conservative, um, I can't remember the name, in the conservation de department, that's it. 
and then there is Amber as well who wanted to um, share with you. Hi, I'm Amber and I'm an ex our A level student at Woodford and I hear that you want to find out what it's like studying art at A level at Woodford and I thought I'd just share my experiences. Um, so to start off with the gap between GCSE art and A level art actually isn't that much. I think compared to my other subjects, so I took maths, chemistry, art and English literature, compared to my other subject the jump is actually smaller and I think what's really useful with it as well is um, my art class was really, really helpful and also the art department itself. So even when I was struggling between my four A levels and other responsibilities as well, I felt that the pastoral care was really, really helpful. And so I could always come to the art department if I had a problem, if there was too much work that week and I had other things going on. But like, even though I had all of this other stuff going on and they did like help me with all of that, I still managed to do my work and I still managed to get everything done and that was really really good because it wasn't really stressful for me and um, it was just yeah it was really really nice and there was such a community feel to it as well um, yeah and um, also another thing about the art department is all of the opportunities that I got and I felt that that really expanded my knowledge of art and it helps me develop like my own kind of style because I think in a lot of different art departments they kind of push you towards one way, push you to get the grade that they want you to get through a certain art style. And I didn't find that at Woodford. And um, there were a lot of different paths that I could take. And I tried a lot of things and some of the stuff I really, really didn't like and some of the stuff that I did like and the stuff that I did like, we really developed on that and capitalised that. And um, Miss Jerome, who's the head of art, also recommended a lot of different trips that I could go 